The Feather Pillow Workout Plan, Get Fit, Get Fluff Welcome to the ultimate workout regime that no one ever talks about, Feather Pillow Fluffing 101. Step aside, weightlifting and cardio, because the real challenge is keeping your down and feather pillow from turning into a flat, lifeless pancake. That's right, your pillows are secretly training you for a life of manual labor you didn't sign up for. You know the routine. You fall into bed, ready for that cloud-like comfort, and by the time your head hits the pillow, your dreams of fluffy paradise are dashed. Instead of a cloud, you get a pancake. But hey, pancakes are trendy, right? Just maybe not when it comes to pillows. What most people don't know, and by most people, I mean anyone who hasn't been initiated into the secret society of feather pillow enthusiasts, is that you've got to give these things some love. They're not memory foam bricks. No, no, they're delicate, emotional little things that need constant attention. You gotta fluff them, lift them, and basically conduct a full-on therapeutic session with them before bed. Trust me, it's the only way to avoid the dreaded pancake effect. And while we're here, let's talk about memory foam. Sure, memory foam doesn't flatten, I'll give it that. But it also doesn't move. You sink in, and suddenly it's like your head's been trapped in quicksand, made of cement. Want to adjust your sleeping position? Too bad. You're locked in now, buddy. Hope you like lying still, because moving ain't happening. So what's the moral of this pillow saga? You can choose flat as a pancake feather pillows, but with the right lofting technique, you'll sleep like royalty. Or, you can opt for memory foam and wake up feeling like you spent the night sleeping on Mount Everest. Your choice, 